Welcome back to WTOL 11, your day, where we love local. What is happening behind me here? Yeah, it's been the talk for years. Now, two identical statues are being brought back to life, and one has hopes, speaking of bobbleheads, has hopes of becoming the world's largest bobblehead. Oh, this is kind of on theme. Yes, yeah. yeah. It's really creepy. <laughs> yeah, but the brother statues, Jacques in Marblehead, and his brother Pierre in Belleville. Photojournalist Joe Cromer has been following this story for months. Oh, it's a fine day to be restoring a statue in Marblehead. Ooh, it's cold here. I am such a Florida freeze baby. I'm only going to work in the spring and the fall because the summers are too busy and the winters are too cold. You have to do something in your life and you got to make a difference. Why, why does stuff like this for part of a, a sweet past that this place had, why does it have to go away? So I'm going to try and make the effort to save it. The statue is not in good shape. That's nobody's fault. It, it just kind of like sat here and existed. And for years, people drove by and wondered about it. There's a lot of wear and tear on it through the years, but it's still reasonably sound. What you do is you create these little notches. This is sawed straight, and you leave them rough like this. So when you, you have the fiberglass molded into it, it's got more surface area, and it's actually like a rivet where it can stick. These two twins are the only twins in the world that we know of that are over 30 feet. The only difference is mine's gonna be a bobblehead and his is gonna be stationary. My father took the statue down in 1972 from a restaurant in Mansfield, Ohio that was uh, going out of business. And he had planned to put it back up, but uh, having eight kids, he just never got around to getting it back up. So it's been laying dormant for over 50 years. I knew I wanted to put it back up someday, but uh, I had to wait until I had the time and the money, and I wanted a, a good theme, a good theme to put it up. So now I have all three, and the theme is gonna be the world's largest bobblehead. Can it get any The challenge to find out how to how to get it to the right perfection of to to make sure it's going to bobble. Fiberglass patch and foam film it, and just uh, clean it up and put new paint on it. Put this chicken wire over there, and then I'll put the the fiberglass and resin on there, and just it'll be as good as new. So yeah, he'll be standing, he'll be holding the two cheeseburgers and then have the ring and the bobblehead going. As people come into the restaurant, they'll be greeted with it and plus people from over a mile away coming through the Ohio Valley will be able to see, see him standing here also. That nobody builds with foam and chicken wire and, and fiberglass hand laid up anymore. We're going backward to go forward. When you take on stuff like this, you can't have the mindset that things are too big because nothing will get done. That's why I'm doing this. It brings a smile to people's face. <laughs> the bobblehead statue is expected to be complete uh, July 1st in celebration of Terry Burns' dad turning 99 years old. That's a good way to celebrate, though. I know. He had it laying around for 50 years because he had eight children <laughs> he had to tend to. <laughs> now, I do think, of course, it's going to be great how it is. Yeah. But I think it would be cool if the burgers that he's holding, if those would bobble, oh. too. Challenge. Yes. Well, he maybe, accept your challenge. Maybe you should yeah. let him know. Yeah, maybe another anniversary, then the burgers will bobble. I think that'll be great. <laughs> I think that's awesome. We yeah. might have to go check it out yeah. when it's all said and done. Go for a visit. Well, there's more. <laughs>